What's going on guys? Welcome back to another DIY video and today I have another project planned out. Today we are going to be making long lines for decoys. Alright guys, so what you'll need is here I have some flambeau rigging rope that I got from Walmart. And then next you're going to need some trot line. And next you're going to need some trot line clips that I also got from Walmart. They come in like packs of 25. And so, first off, what we're going to do is we're going to measure out our wingspan. That's just kind of what I do. You can measure it if you want it exact, but I'm just going to go ahead and do three wingspans. And then that is going to be the part that's probably about 15 foot, maybe a little bit more. So that's about 20 foot of cord that's going to be our weight part. So that's going to uh, connect to the anchor. And then at the about 20 foot mark, roughly, I'm not sure. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a loop. We're gonna make a loop. We're gonna loop it around and tie a knot with it. So you got that knot there. And then, depending on how many decoys you want, I want a dozen. We're gonna go ahead and measure from that point, wingspan, make another knot. You're gonna do that until you have however many you want. I want 12, so I'm gonna do that many. You're just gonna do it until you have enough. You wanna make the loops, this one's really long, but you wanna make them decently long for what we're gonna be doing. All right guys, so I already made one of these, so I just ran out of line on my spool, so this one's only gonna be able to hold six. So the next step is to find your first knot. Okay, first knot. And then you can just attach your uh, trot on you can just attach a trot line clip to it to keep it there. But with the decoy, what you're going to do is you're going to slip, you're going to take the knot or take the loop and you're going to slip it through the decoy. And then you're going to have a loop on either side. And so you're going to want to open those up. Actually, it's easier. So we're going to attach the trot line hook to one side. And then attach it to the other side. So, and then it stays. It's not coming through there, and it can just float along with the line. So, now you just clip it off, put it through the decoy, clip it on there, it's ready to go for next time. So, now what we're going to do is we're just kind of attach them. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to attach all the trot line clips to the loops that we made. And then I'll show you how to kind of keep them organized. Alright guys, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a spool. I didn't have a spool so I just took kind of a board and I cut it. And so I'm going to start it right here. Basically what you're going to do is you're just going to loop it kind of like a trot line. And then once you get to the clamps, you're going to stop. And then you're going to loop the clamp around with it and just keep going. And then whenever that clamp kind of dangles there, you want to get it to, uh, you want to get the rope and you kind of want to just pin it to the side so it doesn't flop around. 
and then you are just going to spool it all up. You got the John Boat out or whatever, and you're just going and setting these out. Now you can just unspool it, and as you get to each one, clip it, and then keep unspooling as you go, and then you can just do it pretty consistently. And then you can just do it pretty consistently as you go. So now I'm going to show you guys a really easy way to store it so that you just have it on your boats and just get it all out as you go. Guys, so what I've got here is just kind of a laundry bag from Walmart. And this one is different. It's got kind of a plastic at the bottom so that it'll hold together better and it's mesh. And this one has a strap on it. So what I'm going to do going to take this, this this bag doesn't hold as many decoys that's why I'm using it for the six one uh, the regular like well actually I'll show you hang on these regular bags from Walmart laundry bags will hold like two and a half dozen decoys uh, this one I think holds like almost a dozen I'm not quite sure all right guys so I'm gonna take the rope if I have weights I would do it with this I'm just gonna put them in the bottom here And then I'm just gonna pile in my decoys. There you have it, guys. Now you just got the bag in the boat. You take out the the weights and the rope, and you tie it on. Throw it out, and as you go, you just take decoys out and set it up so alright guys hope this video helped I'll be having a couple more DIY videos with decoys coming out here soon so uh, stay tuned to the channel make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time